Are you in the process of clearing out a hoarded home that belonged to a family member? Unsettled family estates pose additional challenges to the clear out process as many items need to be accounted for differently than a typical decluttering job. And the final decision about what can be tossed and donated or sold could be in question. In today's video, I'm going to identify three areas that are a top concern for me when I'm helping my clients clear out a hoarded home after a family member has passed away. Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence. I'll help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. And I'm one of the support organizers working on the current season of Hoarders airing on A&E. The cleanup process of a hoarded home may be slowed down by the need to create an estimated value of the estate and an itemized list of assets. In my work, there are three areas that I'm helping my clients tackle when I'm working on an estate clear out. They are paperwork, assets, both sentimental and financial, and liquidating the contents of the home and possibly the home itself. Okay, so let's start with paperwork. Uh, whether I'm helping a local client or working on hoarders, I'm often sorting through old paperwork. Now, this may seem like a very strange place to start when you need to get an entire home cleared out. And you may want to box that paper up and take it to a storage unit or another location when you have time to sift through it more thoroughly. But the paperwork is actually one of the most important things you're going to find in a house that you've inherited. It is very important for a couple of reasons. One thing I'm typically looking for is evidence of cash assets in the form of financial statements, or I'm looking for titles, deeds, or insurance policies that indicate ownership of physical assets like cars and houses. Believe it or not, I've been called into organized paper to find life insurance policies, and it's always exciting to find cash and stock certificates. To settle an estate, you may also need to contact lawyers, accountants, insurance agents, and that contact information could be hiding in a file cabinet or in a drawer or a stack of paper on the desk. When you're settling an estate, you'll also want to figure out what debts are owed. And when you go to your local courthouse, they're going to demand a lot of information from you. And most of that information is probably somewhere in that hoarded home, but unfortunately, uh, because it's not in any type of organized fashion, I do recommend hiring an organizer or getting in there yourself and boxing up as much paperwork as you can find. And then, of course, going through it thoroughly. All right, the second area of concern for me when I'm helping someone downsize or clear out a hoarded home that's part of an estate is making a list or physically categorizing the assets in the home. I'm organizing things into two different types of assets. The first is family history or keepsakes, which may have no monetary value, but have great value to my clients. These are things like photos, family trees, and other genealogical records and personal mementos that I want to try to save from this extremely cluttered home. I want to make sure that they don't get thrown out. Uh, and the second category that's extremely important if you are the executor of an estate and you need to come up with the value of the estate and divide assets amongst multiple family members. Um, you may need to itemize high value collections like coins, sports memorabilia, artwork, and antiques. I've worked with families that had to go through those physical assets using a selection process where one sibling picked an item from the collection and then the next sibling picked an item and so on and so forth until the entire collection has been distributed. In those cases, it's really important to create a list of items or take photographs so these high value items can be accounted for. The third category I'm going to concern myself with as a professional organizer uh, helping to downsize an estate is to figure out if and when the actual home is being sold and when all of the contents of the home need to be removed or liquidated. Not everything in the home is going to have sentimental or monetary value. There's going to be toiletries and cleaning products and linens that are just sort of common household items. 
So you're going to want to come up with a timeline of when everything in the home needs to be removed, particularly if that house is going to be sold. One of the best time-saving tips I can give you uh, and to my clients is to have an estate agent come in and do a whole home estate sale after the paperwork and those items of personal value have been removed from the home. You can also hire cleanup crews and hauling companies to remove all the belongings from the home that are unwanted by the family. But if you hire an auctioneer to sell the entire contents of the home, they may include the cost of hauling and donating items that do not sell. Then the house should be ready for cleaning so you can put it on the market. So what challenges are you facing clearing out an extremely cluttered or hoarded home? Let me know in the comments below. If you are a professional organizer who wants to get into the business of clearing out hoarded homes or find yourself in a position of needing to clear out an extremely cluttered home, check out my course called Tackle the Hoard so we can walk through all the facets of clearing out a hoarded house together. I put a link to my course in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.